standing in front of the uh, intricately card door. Open step forward. This is a magic symbol, said the magician. Carved, no doubt, by magic means. Nope, just a regular hunting knife. The figure of a small elderly man followed the disembodied voice around the edge of the house. I was out back tending some chores. You are right about the symbols being magic, though. Got them there myself, named the flower Wigan. Thrilled to be in the presence of Anna, the magic and Owen uh, smiled and said, It would be easier to do it with magically, Flower. I suspect you are right about that, but I'm not a uh, magic and no. It was my brother who had the gift. Died a couple years back. The old man started solemnly at the door at the moment. Uh, then suddenly. Let me give a sound check here. Sirvely said, left behind a magic veil, his legacy. It's guarded by the pretty nasty spell. I'll give you a good give you a good jolt unless I turn it off. You head over the, the well and I'll give you the drink. It'll, it'll fix you right up and set you back only 25 sovereigns. Oh, okay. So magic well. Want to give it, give it a try. Sure. The healing water was obviously starting to have some effect. Feels pretty good, don't it? You'll be right as rain in no time. Thanks for bright patronage, boys. Okay, so it's it's a healing well. Because why why not? <laughs> why why not? This is fantasy fantasy world after all. A well-armed band of men approach. You shall not pass th this way unless you pay a road tax, yelled one of the men. James put her hand on his sword. Under whose authority you are making the you make these demands, he shouted back. Lord Lighten now either turn back or pay us a tax of twenty-five cold severance. Which will it be? Let's wait till the evening. Good day, said James. Without turning his attention toward them, the man responded, I normally enjoy talking to travelers, but today I'd rather just enjoy my ale. Very well then, James replied, heeding the man's wishes. Perhaps we will return at another time. James asked for company. Smiling at them, the man eagerly accepted the offer of fellowship and told the number of tales about his works for Lord Lytton. Unsure in what the man's manner inspired his trust, James responded likewise by telling him a few of details of their trip to Romney, though omitting the specifics about Korak's, Korak's part of things. Avi, I don't enjoy you that, the man said, waving his hands. I'd not be heading anywhere near the river, not for no amount out of silver, not me. Why is that? James asked. Awful troubles there. The quilt of Romney and the river pullers guild are as good as at war. If you ask me, some bloke down slide and way is trying to stir up things. I have heard that he's even got a few sneaks what are posing as members of the other guilds, even carrying the forged guild seals. Saw the group of them, with, of them with Max Fieber, that greedy bastard out of west of there. When the man excused himself to go answer nature's call, James pondered for a moment the things he had learned. While it seemed widely improbable that the events that were going on around uh, them were somehow connected, he had seen plots of Murmandanus previous to the last uprising, and those circumstances had left him jaded. It made him none the more comfortable that he was now escorting the former ally of that mortal monster. A servant met them at the door. 
she ushered them inside and led them to a partitioned corner of the room. Pulling back the curtain, she relieved kindly man with the white bird, bird and the snow grey hair who introduced himself as Lord Lighten. Please forgive my humble accommodations, he said. My financial situation has been compromised by the death of my lord, a presser of Romney. Suddenly he brightened. Perhaps a fa you fine gentleman would be willing to assist me in a small matter. What could be, uh, we do to help you? asked Jame. James. The lord sided again. I was uh, to equip six knights and sent them to Romney for my a former lord, but his holdings were bestowed on his half brother following his death, and he wishes to me deliver, deliver twelve full quick knights to Malak's cross. If you could bring me six suits of kingdom armor in good condition, I would be able to get rid of those annoying tax collectors who have been traveling the roads, terrorizing people and extorting money. I wouldn't actually expect that you would have that sort of thing with you, uh, don't you? James made a face. This isn't exactly the sort of thing we would be carrying about with us as a rule. Well, <laughs> of course not. Lighten replied, showing them to the door. But please see that you can. What what you can do? Okay, so six suits of kingdom armor. Then again, if I want to sell those armors, I shouldn't leave the area. Then again, it's it's not big, big loss. The barn door was locked. Sneaking around to the other side. Chase by the flagstone boulder resting against the outside of the back wall. With the Gorat's help, he pushed the stone to the side, revealing some broken planks and a hole, just large enough for him to slip through. Stealing in the murky darkness, he inched around blindly until his foot bumped something hard, crouching down the smile he has, was able to make the shape of the wooden chest, and was relieved to find it unlocked. Glazer's Guild Seal. Glazer's Guild of Romney. Ha. Ah. So this must be like forgeries. I think this is part of some quest. Six Toe Tavern. Hello there, may I buy Nia? I can't open up the shop. I don't care how much you have to offer or who you are. Can't I can't go there in there again. I was offering Miss to buy uh, you a drink. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. I was thinking you were uh, stopping in by something from the goods store across the road. Since my father's dead, I have uh, had to run the of these two places. The tavern here and the good store across the way. You know, I have had folks in here for a week by last count, all offering money for a sport made by Hermit up north. Fool that I am. I sent the word out, but that was before things started happening in my store. I have s since closed up the things for a bit. Closed your store? Why? What sorts of things were going in there? Uh, you'll think I'm foolish. I think I'm foolish. Tell me and I'll, I'll listen. I fell off once. Even once you may uh, open the cask of a ale over my head. <laughs> Opened. Yeah. You'll pay for the cask if I do. All right then. I'll tell you. In the past few weeks I have seen man probing about my shop. That's easy enough. Been a, been a, between companies and myself we can get rid of your prowler by the dinner time tomorrow. Can you know how uh, you run through costs as easy as that Polar Ex Poltergeist uh, in your spare time? 
coasts. This problem of yours is a coast. Thought you you wouldn't believe me. I'll put you to the to toe. If you can find a way to put the coast in my shop to rest, and then I'll reopen my shop and give you the gallon grief maker that I bought from the hermit. Simple as that. Nice. Nice word. That offer is nearly as attractive as the woman delivering it. Thank you, far fair lady. Oh, James is a lady. James is a ladies man, definitely. Owned a shop and a tavern. Never wanted for more. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Just a body, James Gagged. Let's get him covered. Back up. Wait, open set. Pointing down the hole. Look, someone's taken his hand. Why would a grave robber steal a body part? James shrugged. I wouldn't have guessed I would be digging up graves myself if Gorath hadn't said that he, the model, used them sometimes as, as secret catches. Either way, let's get Kim cover up and be all on the way. Across the road. So that's a tavern. Who's this? The man at the door greeted James with a strange look. What were you looking for behind my house in a week or so back? James looked surprised. I haven't done no such thing. He said defensively. Perhaps you have mistaken for someone else. No matter, I suppose. The man crumbled. His uh, look lacking conviction. Escorting them to the door, he shrugged his shoulder. I got some other things to do, so if you excuse me and don't be wandering around on Hersher's land again, couldn't open up which, with, with the suspicious barn. <clears throat> the door was unlocked. Same sent at the small house and looked around, uh, touching the sim simplicity of the things which decorated the interior. He cursed the house below to Max Fever. This is what he said, noticing a few items which seemed to be a uh, Bit more expensive than farmer might be expected to own. Alerted by the incruciality, someone told him to investigate the far farmer's belongings further. Burial cloth. Interesting. Shovel. Uh, this is pretty sus. Back again, eh? He said, slapping the James on the shoulder. No, no, that some something around here was. You might be interested, cause I know that I saw with my own two eyes. You have been around here before looking for something out behind the house here. What you are looking for, boy? I insist that I have not been looking for anything around here other than the answer who this person that you look, uh, think I look like, James said. Uh, mumbled, he uh, had accidentally gotten the f uh, phrase out of his mouth. Running his uh, running hand out because his bald plate man made to meet the indeterminate sound. Oh, I don't know, I don't care, don't just leave me be, okay. Okay. Retro pelit, kyllä. Tää on 30 vuotta vanha peli. Tasan tarkkana tiedän, että mitä sun pitää tehdä. James spotted a man in, in a field. Bent over, he appeared to be farmers of some stripe, though his work seemed to become more industrious as they drew closer to him. Undoubtedly, he had seen them as well. Would you happen to know who lives on that in that house nearby? Max Fieber. I should. I lived half my me life in it. My name's Max Fieber. Are you certain? Are you funny in the head, lad? Of course I'm sure. How could you... I not be. Do you often make it a habit of go digging in graveyards? What do you mean? I mean the three of us found a burial cloth and we think you have something to do with all this evil that has going on around here. Uh, you have been desecrating graves, haven't you? You broke into my house, I tell you, uh, tell the constable for this. If he were still living in, tau in town, I might feel threatened, but I rather imagine you have already managed to scare him off. Now talk all, I'm going to have a cozy little chat with a friend of mine named Nivek. 
Prince Arthur's tax collector. Nice, nice fellow. I think the two of you will get a, a, along marvelously. One grave, on, one grave only. I do cup. I don't remember the fellow's name now, but he used to to own the Six Toe Tavern before Nia took over the shop. I thought that maybe I could scare her into moving out and selling to me, but she's too damn stubborn. What did you do with the corpse? The corpse about him, uh, he was down to his skeleton. I tried to rebury him, but I never found out one of uh, his hands. It's bound to be near the graveyard, I think. Uh, I might have dropped it when I was near the old herser's house. What else? That's it. That's all I know, honest. Duck him up, and then I reburied him. We'll need to find the hand then and bury it. No thanks to you. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. And I would advise that you stay away from the Six Toe Tavern from now on. I doubt you will be warmly greeted. Okay. Monarch. Ivan. Tap me in the ribs when you want to hear, hear about the rest of the match. Invigorating side that was. Now what's it? What is it, uh, it I can get you for you? Do I look familiar to you? Can I you do? Should I know you? Not me, my face. I want you to take a closer look at me. Are you sure you don't know of anyone with a face like mine? Uh, did it say I've never seen anyone with a face like yours? I just said that I have never seen you before. The man you are after is Listen, Rigger, is he related to you? Not sure. I don't know anything but my father and my mother died when I was, I was young. It's possible either that um, either of them could have had another child. I have All I wish to do is talk with, to him, find out if you have anything, any common history. Good enough. He's been trying in some sort of errand, though he hasn't told me what it was about or who hired him. He said if uh, he should drop out of the site any length in time, he would be hiding in Darkmoor, probably in a common storage bins there. If you get uh, near there, call out that Ivan has sent you. He'll make an appearance. I'll warn you though, trouble often follows after him. He'll be prepared for a rumble. So familiar. If he's no, no brother of mine, uh, he's at least a close cousin. We found that stranger's thing earlier. I was just, uh, it was just this statue of a dragon out in the middle of nowhere. It was just sent, standing this little colored with nothing around it. Thought old man likes kill, did you? He wasn't always in the middle of nowhere. One time he was just a hop, skip and jump from the main row of Malak's cross. But when the town moved, they let the poor old Malak to fend off for his own. Why did they leave him behind? The only man that ever thought Malak was a hero was Malak. Lowborn folk out outhearted him. Anyway, when the town began to fall under the rage of Pakistan raiders, come up from Sea of Dreams, they decided to move the center of the town inside the uh, inside the Sea of Abbey Shop. Raiders wouldn't touch the town after that, seen uh, as how the brothers of Ishab first came from Kesh. Later, after things had settled down a bit, they decided to leave the statue out there and let the main nature take it back. back. Strange thing about it, folks uh, who, who what we have visited it recently has said a number of strange things about it. Said it was talking to them. And I think he might be in here. The bar door was closed tight. You are in there, called James. We wish to speak with you. Ivan Skalad sent us. There were rumblings from the inside of barn, and after a few moments, the door began to swing slowly open. Lastly, Ricker, who looks like of James. <laughs> we, we could be twins, yes, so it seems. Seeing you, a great number of things suddenly see clear, clear to me. What is your association with the mockers? Corridor. What do you mean? I don't stop the idiot act lastly. 
I know you have something to do with the mockers in Krondor. A few months ago I was abducted by a band of cutthroats dressed as nighthawks while I, I was investigating a rumor in the sewers. At the time I thought they had ab abducted me because I was close to Artha, but that wasn't the case of oh, at all, was it? That must must mean things have gotten even worse than the upright man imagined. When he sent the for, word for me in Kesh. Excuse me, did you say Kesh as the great empire, empire of? Of you all of you of all people should know that the upright man has contacts everywhere, including under Empress Nose. He couldn't very well operate the single most powerful guild in mid without them. But I was, uh, as I was saying, he sent for me in case and asked me for me to take a boat into Silden and take, check on a group of thieves who operated there. I can't really say. More but I confirm that upright man's suspicions. If you should get the Krondor before I do, tell me tell one of the thieves and uh, boy named Lim that I think the upright man's right. Though I am quite positive now that Crawl Crawler is not Chaco Chaco Radborn. He should give you a reward for the information. If there's something in the offering offering that threatens the prince don't you don't worry your head. The knights have in Krondor were likely sent into Krondor to kill upright man after a fumbled in the matters investigating Sildren. Not go after Arutha. This crawler fellow that's running the new thief skills is determined to expand his empire. But he's been busy infiltrating other guilds, uh, his shadow prince behind the half a dozen. Most notably new guild of the Romney. He is also training his men in magic. Whole band of thieves trained as magicians. I don't like the sound of uh, it at all. Neither do I. Though for much different reasons I'm still working on finding out who's training them. Last while I followed I heard the word that someone in Lytton wished to buy glory hands. Magic artifacts. Wow. I had heard some some something about. I found this skeletal hand near Satan and, and sold it to a fellow in Lighton near Clover. Uh, I figured out, out the, if they were magic and they were spot the substitution and perhaps I would have to have a lead. But you, they bought it from you and killed your lead. How did you find the skeletal hand? <laughs> you probably find this, this a bit distasteful, but I was going to dig up somebody from the Setan and Graveyard and just brought and si since that part of the world was has been deserted for quite some time. I thought it would be my best bet to find what I needed without getting caught. Unfortunately, some old call said to me the trouble. I have no idea what this fellow was up with to do with the corpse, but he have us dragging it through this field like he was heading in the grave, headed to the graveyard. At on one point apparently they got tired or thirsty and left the body for a bit, and I went over to liberate this dead man for his hand, but before I could finish the old man came back. Since I nearly had the hand off, I came back next day to see if had we got loose in the transport. And so you found that and sold it to Clover in Lighton. Just so, but my troubles didn't end there. There were a few men in Lighton who recognized me, apparently men working for the core crawler. Seems that he issued a death token on, on my head after I was put in children. So since then I have been lying low. Understandable. And since then we have been killing lots of assassins. Someday, if we should meet again, I would like to talk about some more. Find out more about where you came from. You mean find out if we are brothers? It's not likely I was born in Tulan and only came to Krondor about three years ago when the upright man sent for me. I was never sure why he sent me, but apparently he had heard of me. But he thought of that way. I doubt he I'll ever understand the way his mind works. 
that makes two of us. Thank you for this talk at least, Leslie. Uh, I've been got quite a help and it's been interesting seeing how the others see me. I hope we can meet again. The man at the door flew in the rage. You, he shouted, pointing at James. I think we want the man. Uh, that hand you sold me was totally worthless. It wasn't glory hand at all. James took a step back. I'm afraid you have mistaken me for someone else, but I really have no idea what you are talking about. But did you say something about hand? We'll buy it back from you. I tossed it worthless thing in the dried up well at the light and 150 sovereigns. That's how much I paid for it. You're telling me you'll give me my money back if I retrieve for you? Yes. James nodded. The man looked at them suspiciously, threatened to have them strung up if they went around when he returned and then left. Several hours later he returned with a small burlap bag. Placing on it on the table of the tank, he returned to the James. Here's your hand now. Now give me, ba me back my gold. I didn't take your gold, sir. Let so let's call this a sale, shall we? Said James. Call whatever you like. Where's my bloody money? The man bellowed. James retrieved money from his boat and dropped it on the table. Man scooped up greedily and demanded that they stay until he had, to, ha, had a chance to count it all. So now we have like... Yep. That's, that's, that's the hand. Skeletal hand. Graveyard is here. The tip of grass shovel made a wooden clunk, using his hands to push away the soft, unpacked earth. He wiped the perspiration from his forehead with the back of his sleeve and stepped out of the hole he had just created. He motioned for someone to bring him the hand as he carefully pried open the pine lid of the decaying box. Then without looking inside he dropped the hand and quickly closed the lid, part of the crumbling his fingers. Rest in peace now, Jared, whispered Oivon. Come on, let's fill the grave and get out of here. No, well, that should, should end the haunting. Uh, I don't know how you've done it, but bless you have not heard a knock up or bump coming from the shop for hours. <laughs> okay, he, he the ghost was actually making a pretty pretty big rumble there. First time in weeks after I do a little dusting, I should be able to reopen it for the business. And seeing that you held up your end of bargain, I'll hold up mine. As requested, you can have the Gallon grief maker I told you about. Thank you again, and please come by the shop across the street anytime. I promise you I'll give you the best bargains you've ever, you'll find. Thank you, fine lady. It was our pleasure to serve you. Alright, so. Gallon Grief Maker. Double-edged plastic, basket heel that sword for inspection. It's a health sword. 29 plus strength. 15 plus skill. Okay. Seal Dennis is next. And I suppose we, we can finish the chapter today. Which is always fine. A book. Excuse me, sirs. I will detain you only a few moments. Can you show me the way to Lighton? I'm told that there's someone there who requires my services. To pick a Weber lock, the letter I received from there sounded more, most urgent. 
Impossible, a Weber lock cannot be picked. Perhaps not by you, but one skilled in the arts of subtlety. Subtlety. He might, might may know how to penetrate even the most difficult of locks. This is matter of patience. I don't care how patient you are, the Weber lock cannot be picked. You are making idle posts. And what would a book gain by telling strangers a fact that was not true, hey? I merely say these things so I might advertise my services and you might, might, might make use of them one day. I state simple fact, there's no lock in this kingdom of yours that Abu cannot pick none. Is that so? Perhaps, perhaps you could need teach, teach us how to pick the weapon locks. Uh, it would take more time more time than I think you would care to spend. I spent five years at the foot of my master's salibad, the shadow of the Mount Ashunta learning the art. So he's, he's from Gresh. Uh, but I could perhaps improve whatever skills you may already possess. A uh, small fee, 70 gold servants should pay, pay, pay for my time. 70 gold pieces for a lesson for in lock picking, that's a nothing sort of robbery. You are wise, should I not cheat myself in this fashion? It is sovereigns, but I cannot raise my price any higher. And despite the great deference you show to my person, is that arrangement to be sealed? Yes. Alright, Kessian, it is sovereigns, but I am warning you, I doubt there's anything you can teach me. You must open yourself to your new things. This is the first learning. Without this opening, you will not complete. Opening yourself like opening a lock. You cannot open, then the lock might not open. You should understand that there's no difference between yourself and the lock you are on that you pick. All of those things will I will demonstrate with the test lock that I carry with me. Now I want you to observe. Question double duck. Wait a minute. How did you do that? I couldn't see. Do that again. That's it. You have received your first lesson, Dark Eyes. That was too fast. I couldn't catch what you were doing. In time you shall realize what was done. In your mind the events will unlock and thus your hands will unlock as well. I must go now. Goodbye. Oh, wait! Well, they learned something. <laughs> yeah, and James is pretty good at lock picking. Ah. Ambush. Throwing... Okay. It's quaking and battle tactics and shouted. They are throwing disease infected mulch. We got to take take them down. Confuses enemy spell. Okay, this is the new spell. Let's do the traditional one. Rest. Okay, we got the plague. Ugh. I think the Temple of Limbs Kragma was close around here. Yep, that that's the, that's the place. But it is like second time I need to go. Hey, can you heal us? 95%. So, 
That's a mage, mage son. Okay, he's not paying anything from the ma magic stuff. Luckily, I have pretty good selection of spells right now. The two two doors dead. Then, smiling, he revealed a mouth full of teeth, which had been filled with the shark-like points and. His black eyes seemed to be uh, just as deadly. Sikara de Aconsi, he said, speaking with a thick Kessian lid. He motioned the table that was nearby. Please, gentlemen, the game awaits you. Not feeling like beginning of an argument with the strange Sekashan Carnival, James allowed himself to be escorted to the table where the deck of Pokir cards was stacked. Called the blue lady, the man said with a draw. That comes Poki, the lighting sting paid, paid by the Cassian dog soldiers. Have you heard of, of it? I James noted that I have been, uh, even had occasion to play with it, masoners passing through the local tavern. <laughs> Sorry. You will bring ill luck on our heads. I do not wish your business. Do why do you wish us gone? If you are here, all of her crossed past with those who worked for the crawler, all who cross will die. You wouldn't happen to mean some of the men who were waiting outside of town, would you? I will say nothing more to you, I'm as content as a living man. I can understand your fears, I will ask you one of my questions for you for now. The man scarcely acknowledged them. You look a sorry dog, James commented, noting the long look on, on the man's face. What troubles you? Today I drink up last meanings I ever made in Lancer's tourneys, he said, watching the swirling contents of his cup. From this for day forward I have earned this unsolid day's living. I wouldn't call being a Lancer a solid profession. No, the man replied with a pencil, not ordinary, but I am beginning to advance the years and uh, my strength is not all it used to be. At the last lance, Lancer's tournament I bought a wheel of Farandos formula. Unfortunately, before the last year of the, of the day I was discovered drinking it. My lord rescinded my bond and the master of ceremonies forbid me ever attending another tourney. So I might never again seek another noble emperor. Reaching into his belt he pulled out a small vial and slapped it into James Paul. All yours, I'll be happy not to see another drop of it in all my life. James quinted, why give this to us? I'm not specifically giving to you. Uh, you were just at the hand when I decided to give it up. But to give you and understanding why I'm giving it up. Perhaps I should show you something. Pulling the hem of his tunic, he indicated a pocket scar which married the flesh above his navel. Several of the kings I defeated in the tunic had to take a tether, tether, and among them decided I should be taught a lesson. Hot iron showed into your guts. Can be very convincing, teacher. I so there's an inn, there's a barmaid, sport rations. 
No, thank you. What ship is this? James shouted. The Miss Devil, this is the Hello replied broadly. Only ship fast enough to have slipped away from Captain Trenchard. We are reading sail for the Isla of Eortis at the moment. How much for the passage to the island? 30 covered sovereigns. The sailor cut down. Are you interested in making a trip? If so, come up the gangplank. Yes. Is the love for this? Inhabited by the splinter faction of the Temple of Killian the Priestesses who took up the region of the desolate Isle, believed their prayers would be on day summoned the ancient sea god of, from oblivion. Beula. Interesting suit. Among you, there are injured that need looking after. The ship should return here soon. I would advise you seek help as soon as possible. But that's why we have come. The shipmaster in Silden said that we could find a healer in this island who could help us. You have been missing for I'm not a priestess of Sang, and Eotis conserves himself solely with the denizens of this kingdom of the sea. He may act only on their behalf. Thus his, is his purpose as the end by the will of Isab, one above all. When I was young, I fortunate enough to have learned something about how the temples are worked. I thought I remembered that the god can sometimes be compelled outside his purpose in return for duty of obstinence. That's too, but the Eortis is but a shadow of what he once was. Upon time before the Valhera war with the gods of Midkimia, his influence was as deft as breath of the seas, and all that moved across them. When the last he vanished, Kilian assumed control of his realm. But here are some essence of what he was still surprised. We cannot communicate with the god that is lost. But if we went to act as on his behalf, do you think he would grant us favor? I do not, cannot know if there were more than a sense of him in this place. Perhaps we could commune with him and learn his thoughts. But of the order of Eortis, we are the servants of the vanished god. We see, see his will only in a very small way. Perhaps we are here to serve that will. What can we do to help you? I can see no harm in your quest, I can, but I can guarantee no measure of success, success or failure in your efforts. I can defend only that what the omens may tell me. Perhaps Eortis will steer from his slumber and grant his favor. Until then, the mist devil will bring you no longer to this isle. Could you at least give us an idea where to start? You may be able to read God's will in the falling of the sparrow, or, but some of us are not half as, as have half, not half so clever. Of late, we have had many tell us Rusalki, who sometimes linger near the rivers, have become disturbed. If you might find them all and lay them to rest, so kill them. Uh, you, it might serve your purposes. I will warn you, however, that my, many of these sisters of Eliam are really and will find a face to hide, hide their presence. Many do not wish to send, send to the house of Lips Kragma, so uh, you will need to be clever in finding me. This is my advice. Okay, so 
they would like us to kill uh, Rusalki. Ah, that, that looks like a Rusalki. Okay, please hit 63%. Ouch. Ouch. Let's let's do that again. Ouch. That's 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 a lot. Maybe they don't cast it. Okay, that, that one is done. If there's like somebody next to them. Owen has been like casting a lot. One of those battles where I, I just need to Used on healing potions. Come on, Jimmy. They were pretty bad customers, but we managed to... Hey, what's this? Some rations. Pretty painful road towards Romney. Did we miss something? Uh, I don't know what that place is, but we could we could actually check. Rapid Rooks in 
Is it that the priestess? <laughs> okay, can pay, play poker. Barmaid. Okay, th this is pretty good. Good, good thing to know. Rabbit's rooks in. Although the one bandit said that they had like special special thing with this in, but yeah, okay, it's over here. Ah, it's a fun fun. Okay. So. We were pilots for ah, this is the place. Welcome, gents. It's going to be dark pretty soon. You should be think about spending night dangerous out there. Dangerous, first and James. Why is that? In the keeper land for the whisper, the dead have taken refuge in these parts. They stalk the roads by night and have been attacking travelers. Let's put some protection on him. Okay. Maybe the <laughs> tavern keeper didn't didn't push it us. Man appeared in the doorway, his raven hair dusted with grey, and lines out around his eyes hard. He looked on them with gravity, the weight of the stair deep and penetrating. This is of the house of Madan Hafra. He wrapped future, speaking with the dead rumors. We require a payment of 50 gold. Do you wish to say something with Madame? Sure, why not? James produces requested amount of and hand it to over. Do not question some of the things my wife may say or do. We have recently lost our daughter and it has taken happiest belief in some of her abilities. Please, if she asks for exception, no matter what she may have said, please treat her kindly. Without another word, he stopped aside the curtain and allowed them to rear room where Madame Hafira waited. Seated at the table, she wore woman brocade vest over with the lightly dyed peasant blows, and her hands and neck were ornamented bright wooden beads. Please have a seat, she muttered, waving a brightly knit hand at the rude chairs set across her from her. As she spoke, her eyelids fluttered as she were speaking through the alcoholic case. I may provide three services of you. We may speak of local rumors. I may trail you to your future, or I may speak to the dead, which would be of, you know, half, half of me. Uh, is there anything dead we would like to speak with? Very well. When you are driven on the longest road, you will seek to destroy the instrument of deception, but will need to deceive those who guard the way. In the very last place you will find the salvation is the man who seems a boy. 
This is the fate I see you. She said with a slight trail mall on her voice, betraying hint of nervous. The fates have broken through me. Accept. Do we believe you, Habera? Rumors of the dead. I cannot help you. Limbs can host those you wish to tightly. Rumors. Rusalki that from the lands near river pilots folly at night. But those are lies. Aha. Uh -huh. I had not heard anything of them. Do not seek the Rosalti, she continued, her voice still frantic. They are of no harm to anyone. Uh -huh. Something evil. So there's probably Rusalka. Yeah. This is this. This is it. Yeah, we are going we are going down. So what is this place? Loop. Which which is about? News news them for say TV night hawks at there. Harlan, I'm with the brewmaster around here. And I'm not howling things around and where exactly is here. Upturned keg. The press brewery in this side of Romney. We have to keep <laughs> we have to keep our heads about us. They go up white, but came down yellow and white. Eggs. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Fetters of Rim. I think this is. One of those really classical, very good weapons. And very good spell as well. It is the King of Rapiers was considered weapon that expert and fools. So it's an elf weapon. But it has like pretty good thrust. And I think this is much better for the James. At least for the thrust. And he's a pretty good play style. Uh, yeah, at least there's a taverns on, on the way. Romney. Finally. I'm, I'm going to save here. So, uh, our broadcast. And this chapter is nearing the end. But let's. The city of Ron is sealed at the moment. Uh, all but to all but the citizens and those who are members of the Glazers Guild. Do you have one of one of our seals? Yes. <laughs> in fact, I do. Why is the guild in charge of the city? The Constellabrary were all killed in the uprising. The rival was killed, and no one else. In any authority was left alive to administer. When I was approached to take command, I decided that I would use the, my men in the guild to help, help maintain order until such time the Duke was able to arrive from these states. Makes some sort of sense. Where can I can we find the king's men from the past era? They are looking at holding up in a black seat tower for a celebration of some kind. I believe I heard one of them say they have found something they were looking for. I'm not sure, too sure with what this is all about. I think that that may mean good news for 
us as well. Good night, Reef. We are uh, on in Tromney. Just listen to the team. Quite a party. <laughs> 